I wanted to share a book that's called God Gave Us Easter and it has polar bears in it. What do you guys have? It has white bears in it. Do you guys have your white bears? Yeah. Yeah. They're called Papa Bears. Yeah, we call ours Papa Bears. And this is from a series. So this is God Gave Us Easter. There's um, a series of God Gave Us You, God Gave Us Two. We gave that to Naomi when we were pregnant with Josephine. Um, God Gave Us Christmas. God Gave Us Heaven. It's, I think there's 12 books in total. So we're going to read God Gave Us Easter. Bear. Easter, right? And your bear. And your bear. God gave us Easter. I love Easter, little cub said. Me too, Papa Bear said. It's even better than Christmas. Better than Christmas? Why? Because on Christmas, we celebrated Jesus' birthday. But on Easter, we remember we get to be with him forever. Forever? Forever. That's why God gave us Easter. I like the Easter Bunny, cried little cub's little sister. And candy, added little cub's little brother. The Easter Bunny is like Santa, Papa Bear said. He reminds us of gifts and happy surprises in the morning. But God is the one who gave us Easter. Easter is part of a bigger story he had in mind for a long, long time. How did God give us Easter, Papa? See this egg, Papa Bear said? It's a symbol, helping us remember. Just like the shell cracks open on and a chick comes out, we remember that Jesus wasn't in a tomb, but he was in a tomb, but he didn't stay dead. He didn't? No, even death couldn't trap God's son. He is life itself, and God loved us so much. He wanted us to be with him always. We can see signs of his Easter plan all around us. Little Cub and Papa went on a hike. They found a big tree that had fallen over. God told his people that Jesus would come from one family. The root of Jesse. Jesse and his wife had children. They had children and they had children. And one of them, them was Jesus? Yes, little cub. All along, God knew he would give us Easter. It's sad this big old tree fell down and died, little cub said. Yes, Papa said, but when it did, it made room for new little trees to grow. See how the sun shines now without those big branches to block it? And how all the pine cones fell across the forest floor? These pine cones will spread their seeds and baby trees will grow just like this one. Out of death comes life and how God wants, and that's how God wants us to see Easter. I still don't like dying. Neither do I. We were born to love life. God loves life. But sometimes we have to let go of one thing so we can move on to another. For instance, think about this river. Where do rivers go, little cub? To the ocean. <laughs> little cub, love the ocean. Yes, the river ends, but it spreads into something even bigger. Heaven is like the ocean for us because God gave us Easter we can be a part of something bigger. And even though we talk to Jesus now, in heaven we will see Jesus face to face. Couldn't Jesus have just waited for us in heaven? A long time ago, God's children wouldn't listen to him. They didn't even believe in him anymore. It made God very sad and angry. So he went, he sent a huge flood to start a new, start anew with Noah and his family in the ark with the polar bears, right? And giraffes and monkeys and turtles. So Jesus keeps the promise we broke, little cub. And because of him, God forgives us when we make bad choices. All of us, everyone who believes in him. That's how God gave us Easter. Do you talk to Jesus, Papa? Every day, Papa said, all day. Does he talk back? Yeah. <laughs> in a way, it's like mm -hmm. he whispers in my heart. Mm -hmm. In your heart? I thought we listened with our ears. Mm -hmm. We do, but we do. But to hear Jesus, it takes a special kind of listening. Little, little cub was silent for the rest of the walk home. 
She was trying to listen with her heart. She listened and listened and listened. That night, as Papa and Mama tucked her into bed, she was still listening. And as her parents kissed her and hugged her, she turned over and remembered she was God's child too. In that moment, she felt comfy and cozy and cared for, almost as if Jesus had whispered, I love you, in her heart. I love you too, Jesus, little cub whispered. Thanks for giving us Easter. The next morning, little cub said, Papa, I think I heard God last night. Did you, he said, putting his arms around her. Well, that's the best Easter present ever. What'd he say? I love you. Mmm, those are good words, perfect words, and they really are what Easter is all about. The end.